direct our ceremonies. Your Excellency, Comrade Dr. Nangolo Mbumba, President of our Republic. Uh, Excellency, Madam Sosk Mbumba, First Lady of our Republic. Excellency, Comrade Natombo Nandi Ndaitwa, Vice President of our Republic, and the Lieutenant Epaphras Ndaitwa. The widow, Madam Monica Gengos, former First Lady. Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government. Your Excellencies, former Heads of State and Governments. Your Excellency, distinguished the heads of delegations, fellow mourners, permit me to stand on the established protocol. On Sunday, February 4th, The Namibian nation woke up to the horrifying and the painful news of the passing away of our president, Dr. Hage Godfrey Kenkop. I, for one, was shocked and deeply touched by this devastating news. The news of the death of our president, a leader who is a young man influenced by the political situation in the country at the time, took a conscious decision to join his fellow Namibians abroad who were fighting to liberate his motherland. We are here today to pay our final respect to a man who saved his nation with passion during the dark days. The dark days of our struggle for freedom and independence. A man who would serve as the first prime minister in an independent Namibia and who went on to become the third president of the Republic of Namibia. I have known the late Comrade Hage for more than 60 years now. We met for the first time at a bus stop at a railway station in Chumeb in December 1962. On that day, 
Comrade Elian de la Matale and I were being deported to our native homeland. Upon our release from imprisonment that lasted several months, we were imprisoned for being out of the country without a permission. This was after we were arrested upon our return from Tanganyika, now the United Republic of Tanzania, in 1962. Dear mourners, Comrade Nkengo left the country and joined swap office in the then Bichwana land, now the Republic of Botswana, where he temporarily served as an assistant representative of swap. During the period between 63, 1963 and 1964, after which he left to study in the United States of America. In 1964, Swapo Party President the Comrade Dr. Sam Nuyoma appointed the Comrade Enkop to represent the Swapo Party while studying in the United States and served as Swapo Party representative at the United Nations and to the Americas. During his, his tenure, a Swapo Party representative at the United Nations, Comrade Nkenko traveled extensively within the United States, addressing meetings, and he was, in most cases, accompanied by his fellow students such as Comrade Hidipo Hamtenya, Comrade Theo Ben Gurirab, and others. These efforts contributed to massively the recognition of Swapo Party. as the sole and authentic representative of the people of Namibia by the United Nations General Assembly, leading to, and that was after several years, the independence of Namibia in 1990. In 1975, Comrade Sam Nuyom, the president of Swapo Party, recommended for the appointment of Comrade Hagenko to be director of the newly established United Nations Institute for Namibia. Comrade Gainkob and his team were responsible 
for the establishing of the institution in Lusaka, Republic of Zambia. Swapo asked the United Nations and the members of the international community to establish an institution to train the young Namibians who were taught under the Bantu education in Namibia, which was not a proper education setup. The primary functions that is Comrade Hagen, Green Cobb, and his colleagues was to train cadres who would take over the civil service in independent Namibia. Yes, indeed, this had happened. Today, we have the Chief Justice of this country, Peter Sibote. We have Petros Damaset, Judge President. We have Martha Imara, Prosecutor General. We have Albert Kawana, Minister of Home Affairs. We have Pendukan Ivolaitana, former Minister of Home Affairs. We have Inge Zamani Kamu, Presidential Advisor. All these seven people I have mentioned were trained or they went through the United Nations Institute for Namibian Lusaka. Director of Ceremonies, Comrade Hagen Ginko served as director of the United Nations Institute for Namibia until 1989. When he was reassigned to lead the Swapo Party delegate, Swapo Party leaders, back home that included me. I was also in that group. Dear Manas, after 27 years of absence from his motherland, Comrade Nguyenkob and many of us finally returned home on the 18th, 18th of June, 1989, under the leadership of Comrade Nkenko. In the same year, Comrade Hagen Nkenko was elected by the Politburo of Swapo Party as director of elections to spearhead the Swapo's election campaign in the country. Along with his team, they set up election centers all over the country and led the electoral campaign that saw the Swapo party win the majority 
in 1990. On 21st November 1989, Comrade Hage was elected chairman of the Constituent Assembly which was responsible for the formulation and drafting of the Namibian constitution. It was a process, a process of building mutual trust between the former warring parties. The Namibian constitution was unanimously adopted by the Constituent Assembly on the 9th of February, 1990. On March 21st, 1990, Comrade Sam Nuyoma as a new president of the Republic of Namibia, appointed Comrade Hagi as the first prime minister. In November 2007, the Politburo nominated the Comrade Hagi as a candidate for the position of Vice President of Swapo Party. At the Congress, Comrade Hage was elected the Vice President and opposed on 29th November 2007 after which as second president of the Republic of Namibia, I appointed him Minister of Trade and Industry on April 2008. At the 2012 Swapo Party Congress, Comrade Hagen Kainkov was re elected as Vice President on the 2nd December 2012. After the Congress, I appointed the Comrade Hagen Kainko Prime Minister on December 4th, making him the first Prime Minister to serve under two presidents. Comrade Hagen Kainko was the best administrator in public and the government business in this country. His dedication and to him respect and admiration, not only among the Swapo party leadership, but also among the opposition parties a ring and fire. Comrade Nkinkob was subsequently elected the president of Namibia by an overwhelming majority on the 28th November 2014. 
on 21st March 2015, I handed over the symbols of power to Comrade Hagen Kenko as he was sworn in as Namibia's third president. At that time, I assured the Namibian nation that I am living in Namibia in good hands. I still believe that in Kenko, Namibia was in good hands, judging by what his administration has accomplished during the reign characterized by many challenges, such as economic downturn that affected the many economies in the world, drought, and floods. And the COVID-19, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Director of Ceremonies on the 18th of April 2015, the Central Committee of Swapo Party convened a meeting in Ongwediva, where, among other things, I tendered in my resignation as a Swapo Party president to allow the vice president to act until the next Congress and thereby allowing him to have a full authority to manage both affairs of state and those of the Swapo Party. Following this development, the Central Committee organized a public meeting on the 19th of May, 19th of April, I'm sorry, 2015, at Osakati Soccer Stadium, in which I officially handed over the Swapo Party presidential instruments of power to the Swapo Party acting president, Comrade Hagen Genkop. Dear mourners, the passing away of Comrade Hagen Genkop must remind us of the Peter Nanyembas, Tobias Hainyekos, and the many more freedom fighters who died fighting at the battlefront. It must remind us that the peace and the freedom that we enjoy in Namibia today was achieved. It was achieved through the bloodshed. President Genko departed this earthly life 
at that time. When he was still serving his country and the people as head of state and the government, as a freedom fighter, chairperson of the Constituent Assembly, minister, prime minister, president, and a political mentor to many. Comrade Nginkop did indeed run a good race. His legacy should inspire, us, should inspire us to continue to build from where he has ended so that Namibia could continue on a positive trajectory in the fight against the challenges of economic development unemployment, poverty, eradication, and the effective provision of public services. We cannot talk about the constitution of the Republic of Namibia without mentioning the name Hage Gottfried Genko because of his leading role that he played at the birth of our republic. When we were drafting the Constitution, his efforts should therefore inspire us to rededicate ourselves to the values and the ideals founded in our Constitution for the prosperity of our country and the people. Comrade, Comrade Hage has left us too soon There is a lot more that he could have done for our country and our people should his physical health allow it. That notwithstanding, we recognize and value the countless contribution he has made towards the attainment of our freedom and independence and to the social and economic development of our country. Our nation will remember him for his patriotic deeds and his contribution to the building of a new democracy after decades of subjugation and colonial brutality. Jamonas, although Comrade Hagen Kinkov is no longer with us, fiscally, his legacy will forever be remembered by Namibians whose lives were positively impacted by his deeds and by his wise leadership. 
let us honor the legacy of Comrade De Hage Ngengu by reinforcing the policy of national reconciliation, strengthening of our democratic institutions, maintaining peace and stability, and implementing policies that can bring about tangible improvement in the lives of all our people. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge, I would like to acknowledge and show my sincere appreciation and a gratitude to you all my fellow Namibian citizens, for your planning and the participation in the heartfelt memorial services for our late President Hage Keiko. In all our regions, cities, and cities, towns, and villages. I do this from the bottom of my heart. I thank you all. May my fellow citizens, to our former First Lady, Madam Monica Genkos, the children of the entire immediate and extended family, I would like to say we share your sorrow, your pain, and your loss. Our hearts and our prayers are with you during this difficult dark time. We wish you solace, strength, and a consolidating during this or consolidation during this moment. May the Almighty God give you strength to carry on. May the soul of our dear departed president, Hagen Genko, rest in peace forever. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.